Hello guys. Um, you're looking at a fact about Andre Giant and uh, wrestles. Then transfers to Division One Wichita State University. But according to Sports Illustrated, suffered injuries and multiple benchings for being quote an arrogant sob. Years of fame as a WWE superstar have probably soothed the sting about making the The truth about his size. Big Show didn't become a giant from eating all his vegetables. As a young kid, Show contracted gigantism, involving a tumor that infects the pituitary gland, causing a rapid increase in growth hormone. In Show's case, he was 6 feet 2 inches tall by age 12, according to Slam Sports. While the height certainly helped him as an athlete, it could have cost him his life. In adults, gigantism can become deadly. Legendary wrestler Andre the Giant had the same disease, which ultimately killed him at age 46. Luckily for Show, he underwent surgery to remove the tumor in 1991, leaving him with all the size and none of the life-threatening side effects. All thanks to Danny Bonaducci. Big Show made it to the WCW with virtually no training and literally zero independent wrestling experience. He got in thanks to a good word from, of all people, Danny Bonaducci of the Partridge family. As Big Show told Chris Jericho on Y2J's podcast, he trained at Larry Sharp's Monster Factory. Sharp, however, was never there due to health issues, and nobody taught Show much, except for how to lock up and run the ropes. Frustrated, Show left the Monster Factory and started working with a karaoke company. One day, they were working Bonaducci's morning radio show in Chicago, and Bonaducci was clearly impressed with Show's size. He invited the big man to be his secret partner in a charity basketball game against Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. The connection paid off as Big Show went from working karaoke gigs to main eventing wrestling 